Hey there, I'm Mallory and I'm here with We're All About Cats, reviewing the top five best water fountains on the market. So a while back we wrote a complete guide to water fountains. We talked about um, which features to look for in the best water fountains and which types of water fountains are going to be the best for different types of people. And we rounded up what we consider to be the top five best water fountains on the market. So we have here what we consider to be the five best water fountains that you can buy right now. We have the Pet Kit Eversweet 2, the Cadet Flower Fountain, the Pioneer Pet Raindrop, the Pet Safe Drinkwell Platinum, and finally the Cat Mate Water Fountain. So all of these are pretty good options, but they're going to appeal to different types of people. So after a couple of days of trying these out in my own home with my own cats, um, I'm going to tell you exactly what my experiences with these water fountains were and where I think that their strengths and weaknesses lie. So let's start with the Pet Kit Eversweet. So the Pet Kit Eversweet 2 is marketed as a smart water fountain. So it has two different modes. It has smart and normal mode. When you're running it in smart mode, it will use a light sensor to detect whether it's day or night, dark or light. So when it detects darkness and thinks that it's nighttime, the Pet Kit Eversweet is going to recirculate the water less frequently, which kind of spares the filter and spares the pump, and in theory allows the Pet Kit Eversweet to last longer. So according to them, you're going to have to replace the filters three times less often if you're using it on smart mode, which means savings over the course of time. Another interesting feature is that it has a couple of different indicator lights. One light is going to show you when the water level is getting too low, and if it gets super low, um, this will automatically turn off before the pump runs dry. And then the other light is a filter replacement indicator light, so it'll turn orange when it's time to replace the filter. Now, this water fountain has three different filters, which is pretty cool. It has, first of all, this little screen right here on the top, and that's going to capture any larger debris before it can get inside. And then the second level of filtration is a carbon filter, which is right here in the middle. And then the third level is a foam filter right next to the pump. So together, these filters keep the water fresher and kind of spare the pump. But it also means that you might have a lot of debris collecting around the top, so you're going to have to maybe pick off some hair from the top. So it's kind of a trade-off there. So the Pet Kit Eversweet is really easy to disassemble and clean. The plastic parts are dishwasher safe, so that makes them super easy to deal with. Everything just stacks one thing on top of the next. No unwieldy parts to handle, nothing really confusing or cumbersome. You'll notice that the Pet Kit Eversweet 2 is a little bit on the smaller side. It has a 68 ounce water capacity, which is the second smallest of all of the water fountains we have here. If you have a lot of cats or cats who drink a lot, this might not be enough. Um, it might not last for an entire week, but um, if you just have one cat and maybe they don't drink that much, this is probably going to be a perfectly fine option. You're not going to find yourself refilling more than you would expect. The Pet Kit Eversweet 2 has a pretty simple little bubbling center that comes out and then creates a sort of bubbling bowl of water. It's a pretty straightforward uh, fountain design. It runs very quietly, almost imperceptibly. Um, you're not going to notice a lot of water noise, nor are you going to notice a lot of motor noise. It is a little bit more expensive than most other water fountains. So it cost $39.99 when I bought it on Amazon, which again is a little bit on the expensive side. But if you're running it on smart mode and it works as Pet Kit describes, your cost uh, over time could actually be lower. So you might only need to replace the filter every three months rather than once a month, bringing your cost down to just $13.59 per year. Now, if you're running it on normal mode and you're replacing the filters once a month, that price is going to go up to about $40 a year, which is slightly above average. So this may or may not be a good option depending on how you use it. 
Um, but I think that for a, uh, a home with smaller, lower water demands that isn't going to be using it too much, too heavily, this could be a really good um, energy efficient and uh, very helpful option with a lot of nice features to make your life easier. Now moving on to our second option is the Cadet Flower Fountain. Now this one might be familiar to you. It's a very popular fountain and it makes its way to a lot of the tops of product roundup lists. The Flower Fountain is one of the most economical water fountains on the market at $26.99. It's made from plastic, which we generally consider to be inferior to like stainless steel or ceramic. And it feels a little bit flimsy. Um, you'll notice that the whole thing just stacks, all of the pieces stack one on top of the other, but the top doesn't seat quite as securely as some other fountains. Um, and this, it might fall apart a little bit if things get a little too rowdy. So you could knock off the top um, if you have very playful cats or dogs roughhousing around it. But all of these pieces just nest into one another. You have a basic carbon filter that seats right in here in this little dish. Um, no other forms of filtration. You'll have this first little um, water flaw attachment so the water will just flow over this. If you want to add some discrete streams of water, you'll add the flower attachment. And then a step further is you can remove the flower top to create more of a um, diffuse stream coming from these uh, flower petals. So all in all, you have three different options for the type of flow that you're going to have coming out of this water fountain. So it's a really nice, diverse water fountain that gives you plenty of different options if you want to experiment, find out what your cat likes, or just kind of create a different effect in the room. The water fountain has a 100 ounce capacity, so it's pretty generous for a water fountain of this price. So all in all, this is a pretty good water fountain. You're getting a nice bang for your buck. It looks pretty cool, um, but over time, it actually might end up being a little bit on the pricey side. With only one filter, this carbon filter tends to get pretty dirty pretty fast from what I've learned in customer reviews. And even if you're only replacing it once a month, that's going to cost you about $31 a year. But if you're replacing it even more often, well, that's going to go up to maybe $62 a year. So again, this is another one that's probably going to be best for relatively um, low use situations where um, it's not going to be undergoing a lot of heavy use and you don't have particularly dirty animals going around it. Our third option is the Pioneer Pet Raindrop Fountain. So this is a good option for those of you who are really concerned about sanitation and hygiene. It's a stainless steel fountain, which is much more hygienic than a plastic fountain, which represents all of the other fountains uh, shown here. So a stainless steel fountain is a good option if your cat tends to have acne or you're otherwise just very concerned about uh, keeping a clean fountain. Um, it's also very easy to clean when it does come time to do uh, regular maintenance. You simply take off the top, you remove this little pump and filtration module, and then you can just pop this into the dishwasher. Very, very easy. Um, the pump and the filter are all built into this little module that sits at the bottom of the bowl. You'll see you just have this um, basic um, filtration cartridge that pops in with the pump. Pretty simple system. It just has one filter. Um, the water just spurts out of here, runs down like a little lazy river, and then goes back into the main bowl. So your cat has two drinking areas, either this little stream or the main bowl. But other than that, this is pretty much a one trick pony. The water comes out, it flows down, pretty easy. 
So the Pioneer Pet Raindrop Fountain is a no fuss, no frills water fountain with a relatively small capacity that doesn't do a lot, but it really makes up for it in hygiene and ease of use. So this is the kind of water fountain that you can very easily just pop apart, put it in the dishwasher. It's a cinch to clean and it's going to stay clean because it's made from good hygienic materials. Now, if you have multiple cats and you really want uh, a larger water capacity, you can upgrade to the larger 96 ounce one, but that is going to cost you a little bit more. So overall, this is just a really good hygienic solid water fountain. Now, let's say you have a larger pet family and you really need a lot of water held in a single water fountain. You don't want to refill that water fountain all the time. The Drinkwell Platinum, the PetSafe Drinkwell Platinum might be a good option for you. So out of the water fountains displayed here, this is the Monster. So you can see it's quite a bit bigger than the other water fountains we have here. It has a 168 ounce water capacity thanks to this great big reservoir on the back. So it can hold a lot of water and it can last you for a long time. So if you have two cats and a golden retriever all drinking from the same water fountain, this could be a good option for you. So other than its large water capacity, I didn't find a lot to love about the PetSafe Drinkwell Platinum. Right out of the box, you can tell it's made from pretty cheap plastic materials, kind of rickety. It doesn't feel great. Um, it has a lot of kind of cumbersome parts to manage when you're taking it apart to clean, and it can just be kind of difficult to handle in general. It has a dual filtration system, so it has this pre-filter right here, and then the carbon filter that pops right into this middle compartment here. Um, you can adjust the stream of the water with this little knob here, but again, it feels super flimsy. It feels like it could just snap apart if you hold it the wrong way. The PetSafe Drinkwell Platinum is the loudest of all the water fountains displayed here. You'll notice a noticeable hum when it's running. You're also going to notice a splashy water noise as the water flows out into this bowl. Now this is going to be a good option for cats who really like that discrete stream of water that comes out, that kind of waterfall effect. Um, and if your cat doesn't like that, they can also drink from this larger bubbly bowl. So it's a pretty flexible option for cats of different uh, attitudes towards water flow. And it's a good option for multiple pet homes. But considering that it's pretty noisy, kind of flimsy, kind of hard to clean, it wouldn't be my top pick for most homes. It's also a little bit on the expensive side. So you're going to pay about $47.95 right up front for this water fountain, but over time it may actually be a more economical choice. I was able to find a pack of 12 replacement filters for just $9.33. So that means uh, ideally that would be a year of filters for under $10. That's a really good deal. So again, for multiple pet homes, for people who need a really large water capacity, this could be a good option. Now, our final water fountain is the Cat Made Water Fountain. At $29.95, this is the second cheapest water fountain on the list. It has just a 70 ounce water capacity. It's made from pretty flexible plastic, but it's just a solid water fountain. It's very easy to assemble. You'll just take off this top. You'll see the pumps right here. You have a basic filter right here. Nothing really to write home about. You pop it together. All of this is dishwasher safe. You can just pop it in the dishwasher and it's clean. Um, it has three different water drinking areas so you can accommodate lots of different um, tastes and tendencies. Um, and it runs extremely quietly. So you're not going to notice a lot of motor noise and you're also not going to notice a lot of water noise when it's running. So it's just all around a pretty good water fountain. You might find that you're going to have to clean it more often because of the lack of advanced filtration. Um, I noticed a little bit of dirt in it already after just a couple of days of use, 
but for a simple compact water fountain that you can just pop in any room, um, set it and kind of forget it, this might be a good option. So overall, I think that the Pet Kit Eversweet 2 is the best water fountain that we've tried. It has a lot of features to simplify your water fountain experience. Um, it has a great filtration system, and it seems to be one of the most cost-effective and energy-efficient options available. If you want a water fountain that's going to cost less upfront and has a lot of different options to satisfy different tastes, I would go with the Cadet Flower Fountain. If hygiene is your priority, go for the Pioneer Pet Raindrop or any other stainless steel water fountain. If you have a larger pet family and you need to satisfy dogs and cats and lots of different animals drinking at the same time, the Pet Safe Drink Well Platinum could be a good option. And if you just want a basic budget water fountain that does everything well, I would go for the Catnate Water Fountain. You can find links to all of these products in the description, as well as a link to our complete buyer's guide and a text version of this review. Thanks for watching, and please let us know if there are any other products that you would like us to review or discuss. Thanks. Bye.